हेलो एंड नमस्ते एवरीवन वेलकम बैक टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल माय सेल्फ इंजीनियर नीलेश कुमार झा एंड इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू सी द डिफरेंट मेथड्स ऑफ सिलेक्टिंग ऑब्जेक्ट्स इन ऑटोडेस्क ऑटो कैड सो बिफोर शोइंग द मेथड्स लेट मी ड्रॉ सम ऑफ द ऑब्जेक्ट्स and then we will see in how many ways can we select them as you can see on your screen i have created uh, some objects using different commands like these objects are created using rectangle commands and these objects using circle command here these objects are created using line commands and then circle commands and now we will see in how many ways can we select them so in this video we will see the six different methods or the six different ways of selecting the object the first one is just by clicking them if you want to select the individual objects i will just put my cursor on the object and click there suppose i want to select this line only then i will put my cursor here on the line and left click on my mouse button and the object will be selected so this is an individual line segment which was created using the line command similarly if i want to use this line i will put my cursor here and click my left button similarly if i want to click the whole circle this whole circle is a single object remember this thing your one click will select only a single object so here this line was the single object this line was the sim single object and here this whole circle is the single object similarly this whole rectangle as it is created using the rectangle command this is a single object so on one click the whole rectangle will be selected similarly if i need to select this rectangle i will click here okay so this was the single object which was selected using just a click and if i want to deselect the object suppose i want to deselect this line so how can i do it so for this just press shift button on your keyboard and again put your cursor there and select and the object will be deselected suppose i want to deselect this whole circle then what i need to do is i just put my cursor here on the object press shift button on my keyboard and click here and the object will be deselected similarly i can deselect this object also just by pressing shift key on my keyboard and clicking on that object and now if i want to deselect all the objects at once what i can do is there is one esc button on your keyboard just press that esc button all the objects will be deselected but if the line is created using polyline suppose here this is polyline and i created this line if you visualize this line and this line seems to be the same but this whole this whole object is created by individual segments like this is one individual segment this is one individual segment but here the object that i created using a polyline will act as an individual segment for example if i put my mouse here the whole object will be highlighted as it is an individual segment and if i click here the whole object will be selected as the object acts as a single unit and now to deselect either you press esc button or just put your cursor here press shift button on your keyboard and click there okay so this was the first method to select the object just by cl clicking them and now we have the window selection uh, so first uh, before knowing the window selection let us see the two rectangles okay now i will click uh, i am not into any command i am out of the command now uh, now i will click anywhere on the space okay 
and if i go from left to right you can see one rectangle is created but in blue color but if i move from right to left you can see there is also one rectangle but in green color so this rectangle here the rectangle that is being created this is a method of selection and this selection method is known as window selection and when you move from right to left this is also one of the methods of selection and this is known as the crossing selection now we will see this one by one okay so let me show you first about the window selection so in window selection what happens suppose i click here I will just click and let it go and then drag my mouse from left to right slowly okay drag my mouse from left to right there and now you can see one rectangle has been created in blue color and inside that blue rectangle some of the parts of the object are entirely enclosed but some of them are only crossed or only been touched and you can notice there the objects that are completely enclosed within that blue rectangle are highlighted but the objects which are only touched or partially crossed are still the same what does it mean it means when the objects are entirely enclosed in the selection rectangle you can see this blue rectangle is known as the selection rectangle and if the objects are completely or entirely enclosed in that selection rectangle the objects will be selected suppose i click here now my cursor is here at this point i click here and you can see three rectangles are highlighted inside that blue rectangle so those three rectangles will be selected only okay so you can see there only the three rectangles have been selected and not the others because those three rectangles were completely inside that selection rectangle and now again suppose i click here and will move from left to right and here you can see some of the objects are completely enclosed within that selection rectangle three circles have been highlighted as they are completely inside that rectangle and others which have been touched or crossed are not highlighted they are still the same and whenever i click here only those three circles are selected now let us see for these lines suppose i click here and will move like this 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 here you can see that one line segment is completely inside that selection window and some of the circles are completely inside that selection window but the another line segment has been just crossed and not uh, completely enclosed within that selection window and the other big uh, circle is also only been crossed there so you can see all the objects that are completely enclosed within that selection window are selected or highlighted right now but others are still the same and i click here you can see okay so i think uh, you have got me and now if i like to select this this polyline command or this is the polyline object what i need to do is i need to completely enclose this within this selection window and you can see the object have been selected and now to deselect them at once just press esc button on your keyboard so this was the window selection and in the window selection if uh, right now what i did i just click here and let the button go and drag my mouse yes and in another case what can i do i will just click here and won't let my mouse button go and keep it pressed 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 and you can see one different shape is being created this is known as the lasso selection this is known as the lasso window selection that was the rectangle and this is the lasso and the function of this lasso selection will be same as that the rectangle window selection but the operation is a bit different in that uh, we let our button go after clicking but in this we keep the button pressed and now we will see the another method of selection that is known as the crossing selection in crossing selection what we do is 
we just drag our mouse from right to left in the window selection we drag our mouse left to right and in this crossing selection we will drag our mouse from right to left for example i would click here and move my mouse from right to left and in this method you can see all the objects that are completely enclosed within the rectangle or been touched or partially crossed are also selected also highlighted there and if i click here you can see all the highlighted objects will be selected yes again if i click here and move from right to left you can see on just touching the object the object will be selected but it was not in the case of window selection the object has to be completely enclosed within the selection window selection rectangle but here if the object is only been touched the object will be selected you can see here similarly if i do the same here you can see the only the objects are being touched and will be selected yes and similarly here also we have the lasso selection just press the mouse button and keep it pressed and move from right to left you can see all the objects that are that are being touched by that shape will be selected and now we will see the another method of selection the another method of selection is select all select all it means select all the objects if i need to select all the object at once then what i can do is i can just click one by one each of them but this will be time consuming this will take more time what should i do now to select all the object at once so for that just press ctrl and a button yes on your keyboard we have ctrl control button and a button that we do in microsoft words or powerpoint and others just press ctrl a this will select all the objects and to deselect all the object at once just press esc button on your keyboard so this was another method for selecting the objects and now we have select the similar object select similar object means suppose if i want to select only the circles here for example uh, i would select this and this and this only the circles and not others so this will take more time this is also time consuming then what should i do now what i will do is i will just select one of the circles and then right click my mouse anywhere on the object and here you will find an option select similar select similar means it will select all the similar objects or all the objects that are created using the same command so i will select this select similar option and here you can see all the objects those were created using the circle command have been selected now again to deselect them press esc button and now i want to select the line objects only so for that i would select one object and then right click and then select similar you can see all the objects created using line commands are selected but the object created using the polyline commands are not selected because the option i chose there was select similar and the this element and the, this element are not similar because these elements are created using line command and this element is created using polyline command now i would like to select all the rectangles so for that i will select one rectangle and then select similar and then you can see here this rectangle is also a polyline command here for rectangle we have an individual command rectangle here but it will act as it is also a series of lines but it is acting as a polyline as one unit similarly this is also acting as one unit a series of lines so this object is also been selected so in this way i can select the similar object and now i have the another method of selection that is fence selection and this fence selection i will work uh, for this selection using a modify command for example uh, here i have trim command so let me select this trim command so trim command how does it work i need to just click on the object that i need to trim and the object will be deleted similarly what i can do is i will click here and drag my mouse from one point to another and the object that is crossed by that line will be deleted but when again i move my mouse no line is there 
but using the fence selection what you can do you can continue that uh, fence selection or the trimming selection for that just press f on your keyboard and enter and now the fence point selection has been activated and for this what we will do is click at one point and then i will specify the next point then next point next point next point next point next and here you can see the point is being continued and the object from where this line is passing the objects are being deleted so in this way we can use the fence command and to get out of this command either you press esc but remember one thing if you press esc button all the deleted objects will be appeared again but if you press enter the objects those are deleted will be deleted permanently for example if i press esc now all the objects have been appeared but if i now after trimming all these or deleting all these if i press enter button then all the objects those were trimmed are deleted permanently so these were some of the selection methods that we can use in our autocad projects and this will be useful throughout the project of autocad and now let me delete all this now what i did right now is control a to select all objects and now delete button on your keyboard to delete all the objects okay so it has been deleted now so i hope you like the videos if you really like it please hit the like button and please subscribe to my youtube channel and do not forget to share with your friends too thanks for watching